Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do some really, really cool uh, hover over pop-up information um, using um, even some hotspots so that we can selectively hyperlink um, or put different actions on different parts of an image. Uh, so pretty cool, I think you'll agree. So here we are, I've got a picture of a computer which I found off the internet, obviously Creative Commons, la 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 la, it's in my sources table. And I'd like to make it that when the user hovers over the keyboard or the mouse or the monitor, then some information pops up within the ebook. So the way to start it off is we first of all need to set up some text frames that will contain uh, the information that we want to appear. Um, so I will make a text frame. I'm going to drag it about here and I'm going to write in it. Uh, this is a monitor. In 2016 monitors were used to see things on the computer before we found out how to plug computers directly into our eyes. Uh, which is you know, pretty much what I'm expecting to happen in a hundred years time. Um, so here's my little text frame and yeah it could pop up like that, that's fine, um, but to make it really stand out on the page I'm going to set um, a bit of a fill. So I'm going to not use a um, transparent fill, instead I'm going to just choose um, background colour, like a little note or something. Um, and I'm also going to uh, just change the padding because if you look at it, it, it sort of the text is right up against the edge. I don't really like that. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to properties and CSS properties. And CSS means cascading style sheet. This is where we can change the appearance of things. Padding is what I want. And I want to change the left and right padding. I'm going to add 10 pixels uh, to the left, the right, the top and the bottom. And that's going to give us a little bit uh, of clearance around the edge. I'm also going to add a border, so I'm going to choose, yep, we've got all edges selected, style, solid, one pixel, black, lovely. Okay, and now that will look, you can see already that looks, yep, yeah, great, we've got a little gap here, that's going to look neat. Um, so, we don't want this to be visible straight away, so here's what we can do. Go back into um, our CSS properties. Uh, sorry, what you might not have seen there is I, I cheekily clicked this little shortcut button. I could otherwise right click and go to um, properties and CSS properties. And I can change the visibility. And I'm going to say an object is initially hidden. Okay, easy enough. Um, and also, this is really important, under ID, I'm going to just give that a name so that I can easily identify it. So I'm going to call it txt for text uh, monitor info. And I'll press OK. Right, now it disappears. Brilliant. Uh, let's do another one then for the keyboard. I can be a bit cheeky. Um, can I select it? No, I can't select it. I have to select it here. Copy, paste. Should be able to make a second one. Um, let's just do it for the mouse and keyboard. Now, um, so that I can edit it, I'm going to switch off the visibility and just change this. Uh, this is the keyboard and the mouse. These were used in 2016 to input info, whoops, information into computers such as uh, search queries for animated GIFs of cats. This was very popular in 2016. Um, so lovely. Again, I want this hidden straight away, so I'm going to right click on it, go to uh, properties. I'm going to set the, uh, first of all actually I'll set the visibility because that's what I came to do, initially hidden. And again I'll change this ID to text, oops, and keyboard and mouse info. Okay, so they've disappeared. Okay, that's good. Uh, we now need to make them reappear um, and I don't want it just to happen whenever I hover over the entire uh, image. I'd love, I want it so that if I hover over the monitor, the monitor info appears. And if I hover over the keyboard and mouse, the keyboard and mouse appears. So here's how we're going to do that. Insert menu. Hotspot. Now, hotspot allows you to draw a rectangle over an image. And 
instead of hyperlinking the entire image, you just hyperlink the region that that hotspot is over. It doesn't actually even have to be over an image. It could be any part of your page. You can um, add a hotspot which makes sort of just that bit um, clickable. So we click on hotspot and we drag it over the monitor. Cool. And it's going to come up uh, asking you what you want to link it to. Um, and if I wanted to link that onto another page, I could do that or a web address, that's fine. But actually, I want to link it to an action. If I press add, visibility. And I want to change and I want to say monitor info. I want to, I could either make it show on rollover and hide on rollout, or I could show on click, um, hide on click, and so on and so forth. Um, I think I'm going to do show on click, hide on any other click, and press OK. And press OK again, and I'm going to now make another hotspot for the keyboard and the mouse. So let's do this. It's best not to let them um, overlap too much because otherwise, how does it know which you're clicking on? Um, it'll always go probably for the one that you've done most recently um, if there's a conflict, but best if you can just make them not overlap. Uh, so again, go to actions. We're going to add a visibility action. This time I want to make the keyboard and mouse appear. And again, I'm going to do show on click, hide on any other click. OK and OK. Are you ready to be amazed? Let's preview our work. So here's our page, and you can see as I move the mouse over, it changes to a, a hand telling me, yep, you can click on this stuff. Interestingly, not done it there, but it has there. Very odd. Okay. Ah, no. Issue. Let's go back. Let's go back because properties. Not only did I set an action, but I did also accidentally I did when I was showing you earlier, I did set the site page. That's not going to work. It's got to have no hyperlink, only an action. Okay. It's a good job I make these mistakes. It's a good learning opportunity for everybody. Okay. Right, that's better. Yeah, no hand. That's right. That's, that's, you don't get a hand, so you do need to give some instructions saying click on parts of computer to find out more. Um, but if we do click, hurrah, this is a monitor. In 2016, monitors were used to see things on the computer before we found out how to plug computers directly into our eyes. And I can click anywhere else, and it disappears. Same with keyboard and mouse. This is the keyboard and mouse. These were used in 2016 to input information into computers, such as search queries for animated GIFs of cats. This was very popular in 2016. Isn't that fantastic? So there you go. So we've got pop-up information when we click on the hotspots on our image. Really nice little extra feature for your ebooks. Um, you don't have to do this, but obviously, if you did, it doesn't take a lot of time and it really adds some cool interactivity. Just remember your usability and accessibility here. Make sure that you tell users to click because if they don't know, then they won't find. Okay, so make sure you include some sort of instruction that says click on X to see more information. And remember, you can always use hotspots to. Um, link to other pages as well as to um, text or anything else you want to make appear.